a couple of beefy toes right to the midsection as Bruiser again lashes Dolly back into that buckle. And again, takes him down in a flying mare. And then places upon him the chin lock, which has, to my knowledge, has never received a submission from any opponent. I do remember one time, though, and I think I've mentioned this before, there was a time when a hammerlock, I saw a hammerlock win a match, and uh, it came so quickly after a backdrop and a beal that I very, very much doubt whether there was anything involved in that hammerlock other than just a lot of pressure put on it on uh, an already pinched muscle or a pinched nerve because when this fellow had been taken down in the backdrop and then picked up and beeled. By that time, you could tell that he was somewhat contorted and it was quite obvious there had been a ooh right into the buckle again. Quite obvious that there had been something pitched in his, uh, pinched in his arm. And the minute that hammerlock was put on, it was more than he could stand. Well, Bruiser being counted off here again is Dolly. Face first into that buckle, hangs on for dear life. Short chop to the chin. And uh, a few fingernails right across the front of the face as Dolly comes out of the corner. This is a good match. An excellent match as he stands right up to the world's most dangerous. Flying head scissor. And Dolly hangs on, gets a count of one. And that count of one is reversed by Bruiser, who very quickly rolls Dolly's shoulders down to the mat. The bruiser stretching his way out of his hole. Makes the break. 254 right on you when he gets up there. A toe to the midsection. And again, that one landing just above the heart. That one right in between the rib cages. And out of the ropes, through the ropes, goes Danny Dolly. Good looking fellow. And a heck of a fine wrestler. There's a short right. Came off those 21 and a half inch arms. This man is amazing. How big he is and how well proportioned and healthy he keeps that body of his. You don't count him out very often. Head first, two times to the buckle. Look at this. Over the ropes, down with a body slam. And Dolly, who has been slowed down considerably, could be beaten right now as the brute goes to the ropes. The flying knee drop, two and three. It's all over. The time, four minutes. 52 seconds, just a moment, and we'll have it official. Four minutes, 52 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes, 52 seconds, your winner from Reno, Nevada, the world's most dangerous wrestler, former world's heavyweight champion, Dick the Bruiser. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, with more championship wrestling in just a moment. You stick around and don't go away. Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, call to your attention our next match, which is in the ring, at least a portion thereof is in the ring. It is scheduled for one fall, 15 minutes. One fall, 15 minutes. Introducing this gargantuan, and a real giant he is, too, from Moosehead, Maine, at 310 pounds, the Golden Moose Cholak. Moose Cholak. Moosehead, Maine. His opponent is from Milan, Italy, making a long uh, absence, uh, returning to the ring after a long absence. Uh, he weighs in at 236 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Parenti. Tony Parenti. 
This is one fall or 15 minutes. There's Parenti. We haven't seen him for quite some time, as I indicated. Moose Cholak will be his opponent. And this could prove to be a very interesting and worthwhile match as Cholak, who takes every match, uh, every opponent he meets as a warm-up for the great one, he says, coming along when he's declared the champion. And uh, he will have to meet for a champion, of course, Gene Kaniski, but it makes no difference to him. Cholak says uh, whether it's Kaniski the champion, uh, whether it's Dick the Bruiser, or should he ever regain the championship, etc., 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 I am going to get it. And uh, <laughs> I think he, with an attitude like that, he very possibly might. One fall match, and uh, we're just about set. Here we go, there's the bell, and we're off. Parenti, much the smaller, but he's one of the wrestlers I like to refer to as the Gary Player of wrestling. He's small, but he packs a lot of dynamite, and he certainly knows how to come up with the moves and the winning combinations. There's a rollover, a front, front face drag, and a rollover by Cholak. There's a dive by Parenti, and we have a lot of good mat action here. A lot to start this match off. To an arm bar. And with a smaller man, the next move would be a step over. But Cholak makes the first quick step. And Parenti, underneath now, will have to find the way out. The splits 